Hey there friends, Foster the Canadian here with Jared once again doing Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Glitches the Third. So anyway, the first glitch is on Truth and Reconciliation. And this requires two people and you can get on top of the map. Yep, at least on top of this first section, not in the ship itself, but it's pretty easy. All you need is uh, a little dummy to jump on top of to get on top of the first branch. Jared in this case is the dummy and he has to kill himself. Correction, I am a derp. Get derp. it right. Yeah, well, whatever. So anyway, I, I gave him a little bit of um, assisted death there. And there he is on top of the branch. But it doesn't end there. You have to get on top of his head once again and make it to the next branch. A little hippity hop. And, and you got to look down. I have, I, I, and after this, I have to die again. Yeah, I'm telling you to die. You were a little reluctant. So I, I, I just gave you a bit of a hand. <laughs> and down you, goes the Jarrett. And he's on top of this branch. Now from here, again. fairly simple. What you want to do is uh, to jump on top of your friend's head again, and you're going to want to go right up about here. See on top? That's where we're aiming to get. So I look down, and this time you got to throw a plasma grenade on your buddy. Jump! And boom, you're on top of the map. You can look all over the place, and this is really cool. Even though there's not a whole lot to look at, it's still really neat being on top of the map. You know, getting a bit of a, a vantage spot, looking down at where you were, where you need to go. It gives you a whole but, new perspective on the map, don't you think? Yes, but this sightseeing is not the point of this glitch. No, it the is not. The point of this glitch is you shooting at me, apparently, because when we were up here, that's all you did. But no, this is the, the main point of the glitch, is to get on top for this little area. Very helpful and legendary. And snipe everything that moves. Yeah, make sure you have a sniper, so the, the yeah... <laughs> we had to do this yeah. glitch twice because we didn't have a sniper originally. We lost it. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Frustrating, but anyway. Yep. That grunt pissing me off, so I was like, fuck it, here's an assault <laughs> rifle. <laughs> it found a weak spot in the cliff that went right through to you. But anyway, yeah, that's Hacks. a pretty good uh, advantage point for the glitch. The hacks. Now, here anyway, we go. Next. This is a fantastic glitch that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Rocket hog launching. Now, what you yeah. gotta do is build up as many grenades as you can, wait for your teammate to grab the overshield, get over the grenades, launch him with the rocket. Okay. And try and shoot him with the rocket again like a clay pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is actually a little more difficult than it would seem. It turns out you need a lot more grenades than we had originally. We had about 10, I think, originally. Once we I got it up to 15 or so, that, that's when this happened. Look Fireworks. at that. Just, that's, uh, that, I believe that was the first, um, rocket program for the humans. Space program. Exactly. We launch you, you beat Russia. There. Yeah, beat Russia. And so anyway, you kill yourself, and you're on top of the map. This is fantastic. Look at this. Look how beautiful this, you know, cardboard cutout of trees are. This is fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? Looks like you're in a painting. It really does. You know what? It, it's funny you say that. It really reminds me of, uh, do you remember that quest in Oblivion where you enter inside the painting? That's totally I what remember. this reminds me of. I don't remember that, but it reminds me of when you jump in the painting on Mario 64. That too. But yeah, <laughs> it's really a great place. This is what it looked like 10 years ago. A little barren. It was still beautiful back in the day. But, I mean, nothing For compares. I, I just, I love the feel of being in here. It's not like anything I've seen in Halo. Look at this. You're just roaming around in this forest on top of the silent cartographer. Probably should have mentioned that that's what the map was called. But, uh, I mean, really, if you didn't know that, maybe you shouldn't be watching Seriously, this. we're on a beach. Yeah. <laughs> we're on a little <laughs> island with a forest on top. But, uh, yeah, there is actually a point to getting on top of here. And that point is this little vantage spot you get here. You go through the... Uh, Rocks that aren't really there. And there's a Covenant dropship. Can Jarrett jump on top of it? Is he going to make it? Can I, can I make it? Come on. Can I make it? Do it, Jarrett. Do it, do it, do it, do it. And no, I cannot. No, you, you, uh, <laughs> you missed by a lot there. <laughs> About 20 feet higher, and you would have made it, though. So, yeah. Uh, I've only had the jetpack. Why do I have to leave it on reach? Anyway, this next glitch is my personal favorite. The pet flood glitch, I call it. And what it requires you to do is shoot off the left arm of any combat form without a, without a gun. Yeah, uh, hold on. This, this friggin' hoser comes up behind me with both his arms. He hits me, so I, you know, gave him a bit of a punch there before you blew off his arm, and he became a friendly guy. Yay. And then you got to have a little posse following you around. This is amazing. So groupies. I love this. Just <laughs> have a little entourage following you around while you're going on uh, 
343 Guilty Spark. Look at that. That's amazing. But of course, Jarrett being Jarrett has to have his flood. Uh, I have to continue what the, the hell, man? Of Look, the I like that the flood's looking something. up. What's going on? What's he doing? He's got his arm up. Oh, fantastic. Moving on. Now, this next glitch comes on the level keys. Have you ever wanted to jump this annoying gap here? Well, yes. you can. With the Foster, the Canadian... No, you, you just need a plasma grenade and the right place to jump. But, of course, Jarrett being Jarrett... Derp. <laughs> you fall into the gap, activate the cutscene. That is not something you want to do because it, there's yeah, a checkpoint do do. immediately upon falling. So there you go, you activate the checkpoint, and we have to start all over. We gotta run through the map, we gotta go in there. Hey, look, there's Flood, there's Grunts, and oh, we hey. gotta go all the way back. Oh, God. Look at that, we had another pet Flood, and you shot him in the face with a shotgun. I like my shotgun. So anyway, when you finally get back, you throw your plasma grenade down, and time it, jump over the gap, boom, this is the only place you can land, by the way. Don't try to land anywhere And else. now I'm thinking, maybe I can do it now. Yeah, Jarrett maybe being Jarrett nope. falls into the gap, right. Activates the cutscene once again. Jarrett, any comment about that? Any thoughts? I did not want to lose my shotgun. <laughs> so he activates the checkpoint. We have to start the level all over again. Rushing back. We've got to go. We've got to kill the grunt. We've got to kill the flood. We've got to go all the way back to the gap once again because of Jarrett's derp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but hey, it's a fun glitch to do, kind of. So we jump the gap once again. And this time I'm looking back. I'm like, J Jarrett, it's a... Uh, it's um now I'm gonna kill myself and Foster feels the need that no I don't yeah I, I didn't so think you were gonna I didn't think man. you were gonna do it I thought you were gonna try to kill yourself but like stumble into the gap again so anyway you get to the other side knowing <laughs> me that probably would have happened anyway yeah you get to the other side and there's uh there's a few interesting things there's a green door that will not open but you can roam around the little um what would you call this Jared the uh the yeah hangar the hangar bay for the, the Covenant dropships and banshees and whatnot it's a uh, Pretty neat place just to roam around. This is what it looked like 10 years ago. You know, we like to show you that. And if you uh, fall or slip or whatever, you get a look at the whole visit bloody marsh area down there. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Yoda is somewhere down there if you feel like looking Yoda! For that's where he's off to now. So, yeah, it, there's yep. not a whole lot behind the gap, but it's still a neat place to look at. Now, the Maw. There are a few glitches on the Maw, and we thought it would be fitting to... And the video on this level, we got two glitches we're going to show you. The first one is how to get outside of the Pillar of Autumn, right at the beginning part here. Now you see this little ledge here. There are sentinels that spawn once you activate the cutscene. Watch me walking into a wall there. So you got to activate the oh, uh, little lost. chattiness that Cortana enters into. And look down, wait for it. Here they come. There we go. You got to jump on a sentinel and land in just the right spot. Will I make it? Uh, no. No, nope. I didn't make it. Yeah, you gotta be Spoiler very, alert, we died very accurate times here. Doing this. Right there, right about there is where I'm shooting. That's where you need to land. If you don't land there, you're screwed. So I, I fall off. Oh, am I gonna land there? Looks pretty good. Land. Yeah, no. No. Again, I yep. die. You were doing something totally different. I looked it over a couple times. You were trying to surf on them. I worked. I almost got all the way up to the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, you were having some fun. Oh, sliding down. Boom, look at that. We're down here. We're outside of the Pillar of Autumn. This is pretty fantastic. You, uh, you can roam around. Hey, look at the friggin' craftsmanship on the Pillar of Autumn. Look at those steel bearings. That's, uh... No one cares about the craftsmanship. Oh, I care about the craftsmanship. What they care about is the next part. It's the next part. Yeah. The biggest freaking slide ever Yeah, I Halo. think you were the first one to jump down the slide. I was more interested in roaming around. But, you know, you just, uh... You're like, hey, I look! I wanted the fun part. Whee! I wanted the fun part of sliding. That's more fun. It is uh, the biggest and... slide, but one of the cool things, this is what it looked like 10 years ago, by the way, is just looking around this wasteland and up at the Pillar of Autumn. It's a really cool thing just to explore around, but I decided I got it's bored. It's not a wasteland. It's a fun I slide. I got bored. The biggest slide in Halo campaign history, I'm sure. Whee! Look at that. This is, this is fantastic. That's what it's all about. Screw making slides in Forge World. That's a real slide. Anyway, this next glitch is you need two people for it and it you may notice a lack of something explain here. this yeah a lack of some things now what you have to do is get your Can one you teammate to stand yeah. where we had Jarrett and just stay there have the other guy run up and all you get are these little uh poppy guys nothing big Action. no sentinels just you and 343 maybe you know having a little chat 
having tea, you know, having a good old time while Maybe you're blowing up these uh, generators here. But it makes everything a lot easier. So if you're having trouble on legendary, that's a good thing to try. So I think that uh, pretty much ends it, aside from you dicking around with this hunter here as I'm trying to respawn. I was using him as a yeah. catapult. As you, I, as see, you I see here, <laughs> I'm trying to respawn, and he was just like, no, check this out. He was going for a good, like, five minutes here. But this is the final Halo CEA glitch video that Jaren and I are going to do. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching them as much as we have making them. We had a great time. Fun videos to record. Fun videos to upload. I know you guys love them. So until next time, this is Foster the Canadian and Jared saying see ya.